Hello, fabulous superstar Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of January 2018. Looking at life and love, I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have two powerful eclipses to start off a brand new year, but it really is going to feel brand new, especially considering that Uranus will be going direct about a week into the month as well. I'm so excited to tell you about it all. So in the early part of the month, Uranus is going to stand still in the sky and about a week in is going to go direct. This is so powerful. This is truly an energy that can be erratic, but is one of clarity and is one of the future. You have got Uranus slowly continuing and finally wrapping up a move through the part of the sky for you that has to do with a few things. One has to do with your workplace and the people who surround you there, the type of work you're doing. The other has to do with your health and how well you are taking care of you. You've had Uranus in this part of the sky since the beginning of the decade. And now here we are. This is the home stretch. This is the last little bit, but this is where the energy is going to feel especially strong. And it is going to be in March that Uranus will leave this part of the sky. And that's going to bring a lot of stability in to these very areas that I mentioned. But that stability not going to be found this month anyways. But at least there will be change and very likely excitement and opportunity. Uranus going forward here can bring with it behaviors from co-workers, clients, customers, immediate supervisors that is a kind of unpredictable, maybe even a little bit erratic. And it is also possible that there are significant changes uh, where someone just decides to leave and even your role and the work that you are doing can go through a change in an instant and very quickly. But ultimately, this is about you realizing what you have to give and what you're meant to do next. And as part of this, if it is that you are hoping for uh, other work related opportunities, well, it is Uranus that can bring them to you very quickly. Now, if you are self-employed or you work with technology of any kind, you've got that much more support for truly feeling as if you are making advancements that much more quickly. For others of you, this is going to play out more where it comes to your sense of well-being and your health-related practices, and it is Uranus going forward that can have you going cold turkey in an instant, especially of something that could be considered a bad habit. This can also bring with it dramatic changes to your eating habits and what you want to eat as well. Now, it is going to be once we get uh, into March and Uranus leaves this part of the sky, that more stability is going to come into this area. And so if it is that you've been hoping for that stability where it comes to just feeling your best as much as possible, well, that is coming right around the corner. It is now, though, that you can have these very valuable insights that in an instant have you feeling that much better. We have eclipses this month as well. And the first eclipse is happening under the light of this Uranus changing directions. And this eclipse is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with communication of all kinds. It has to do with agreements and uh, running into the right person at the right time. And it just makes all the difference for you. And it is going to be over the course of this solar eclipse about a week into the month when it reaches exact, that it will feel as if synchronicity is operating very much on high in your life. It can also be at this time that you receive surprise emails, messages that bring in new opportunities into your life. And it can also be that you run into somebody and you don't really realize who this person is and you're having a conversation and that welcomes in bigger opportunities into your life as well. If there ever was a time to talk with your neighbors and to be willing to have discussions with them, this really would be it. But I would also add that some of the surprise news that finds you can also be about your siblings, your cousins, and your neighbors as well. 
And so it could be these people who have uh, some of the bigger surprises for you in terms of what's happening in their life. At the same time though, there's enough here that says that you will be benefiting in some way by the very quick conversations and the quick information that finds you. For some of you, this could be teaching opportunities that come up or learning opportunities as well that end up being tremendously rewarding and allow you to network with people where there could be some very strong karmic opportunities to welcome in more, more of whatever it is that you are truly wanting. In terms of professional opportunities, friendship opportunities, romantic opportunities, well, it is the people that you connect with under the light of this solar eclipse that can evolve and grow in the direction of making improvements on these fronts. Two weeks later, right around the 21st, we are going to have a lunar eclipse. Now, this is going to be the last lunar eclipse as part of a series of eclipses for the better part of the last two years that you have been having at the very top of your sky. This is a part of the sky that has to do with career, social standing, life purpose, and understanding your higher direction and feeling more in alignment with the goals that you have for your life. This lunar eclipse is going to allow you to see things differently, but it ultimately represents a sense of completion, a sense of things coming full circle and realizing that you accomplished what it was that you set out to do. As part of this, this can bring changes as well. Sometimes this allows you to become a boss or allows you to have an opportunity at a promotion, but it can also allow an end to a particular contract or certain role that you were playing. And sometimes this can bring with it surprise changes to your boss. And so this could be a time when a boss decides to leave the organization that ultimately can put you in a position of taking on more responsibility as well. What is especially exciting about this though, is that you get to be more clear about what direction it is you are wanting to go in. What is your direction? What isn't your direction? And in the process, finding a sense of momentum and clarity as to your path ahead and the goals that you truly understand are resonating with something honest and authentic within you. Where it comes to matters of love, it is going to be about a week into this month that Venus will leave your sign. Venus has been in and out of your sign for unusually long time, for months now, thanks to last year's Venus retrograde season. And so now as that ends, I do think that you are going to feel a sense that some of your most powerful lessons in love, at least in the immediacy, have come to an end. You still had this blessing in the beginning of the month, as I said, the first week of the month, to feel the sense of ease of being able to attract uh, beautiful moments, loving moments into your life. But it is going to be as we move further into the month that as Venus leaves your sign is going to start to bless you in different ways. And this becomes in part, at least where it comes to love, about generosity. It comes towards you understanding more clearly what it is that you deserve in love, what it is that you are really wanting, and all it is that you have to give. If you are someone who is open to meeting someone new, as I said, the first week of this month, you've got powerful opportunities to welcome in genuine connections with other people. Those opportunities are going to continue for the rest of the month as well, except it changes in that the opportunities that do find you will in some way help you connect with a sense of self-value and self-love in the process. For those of you who are just getting to know someone, I do feel that it is going to be once Venus leaves your sign that you're going to get a deeper perspective on this person and this understanding of all it is that you are bringing to the table, what it is you have to give and how do you feel that that is being reciprocated. As we move later into the month, right around the 22nd, we are going to have what astrologers like to call one of the most romantic days of the year. That is going to be the meeting of Venus and Jupiter in the sky. As these two planets get together, this is going to be that powerful sense of insight into if you feel that this connection is balanced or not. Thankfully, ultimately this energy can be very healing 
which is going to allow you in some way to affirm and to feel a sense of self-esteem affirmed for you as a result of your experiences with this person. For those of you who are in an established bond, I feel like chances are you are the one who's going to be feeling particularly generous. Now, there may be this idea of some connection to feeling uh, a sense of wanting reciprocation to what it is you're giving. But for the most part, if you are in an established bond, chances are you're going to be feeling in a, in a very giving mood and wanting to uh, share with your partner and wanting to show your partner your affection through the things that you offer. In line with this, um, just in a general level, this can be very good energy just for income, just for making money and spending money as well and spending money on things that you end up really liking having. Um, but having said that, there's uh, something very beautiful about this energy at the same time where you are appreciating what it is that your partner offers, but also feeling so abundant, feeling like you have so much that you have more than enough to give. What I love about this month for you, there is a lot here, but I do really love that solar eclipse for you in the early part of the month. I think this is going to be a mind level awareness, a, a conversation that changes everything for you. But ultimately this is energy that is very harmonious for you as well. It's going to allow you to feel like you can say things that much more spontaneously and bring forward your most brilliant self in moments that you never anticipated but they are ultimately moments that can make a big difference towards catapulting you towards that much more of a wise and loving future well thank you so much for watching you can get a video like this every week by logging on to nadiashaw.com sign up to be one of my superstars superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week unlimited access to special horoscopes including the 2019 special horoscopes for each sign, which is up on my website now, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.